Have you ever noticed when starting to prepare for your arrival at your destination, you go and get the approach charts out and see that there are actually more than one ILS or RNAV approach for the exact same runway, and they may be labeled something like ILS Zulu or ILS Yankee. Well, they may look like exactly the same approach, but those little letters hide important differences. They are not random, and Zulu is the first approach, and after that, it works its way back up the alphabet for any extra approaches. So what is the point in having more than one same type of approach? Well, the differences could be the minimums, the glide path angle, the missed approach routing, or even if different RNAV transitions are used. Let's take Frankfurt runway 25 right as an example. It has two ILS procedures. The Yankee plate uses the steeper 3.2 glide path angle, and it's a cat one only. The Zulu approach uses a standard 3.0 degree slope and is certified down to cat three minimums for low visibility auto lands. Whereas if we head to Rome, you'll see there are two different approaches for the ILS, the Yankee and the Zulu, where the difference is the go-around procedure. So which one should you use? Well, in real life, air traffic controllers will tell the pilots which approach is in use at that particular time. If you're flying on flight simulator, though, it's usually best to opt for the Zulu approach, as that is usually the main most common approach that that airport uses, and the others are used as backups for various different reasons, as we've explained.